Before we get this video started, I just wanted to send a huge shout out to everyone who's been supporting the Duckett stickers here recently. You guys have been awesome in ordering these stickers. I really appreciate it. Me and my brother both really appreciate it. As always, the link to our website, duckduckdiesel.com, is in the description below. $8 free shipping. We also offer it in the backwards hat as well, which you guys really seem to like. You guys have been ordering the crap out of the backwards hat ones here recently. You can get pretty much any color you want. Like I said, $8 free shipping. We really appreciate it. Also, if you're coming up on an oil change for your car or truck, make sure you stick to the end of this video. I'm going to be putting out some information that should help you guys out. I'm going to be giving you guys my buddy's name and number who can get you some great prices on some great oil or any kind of lubricant you need. So stick to the end. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Lord, give me an angel. Someone who's faithful, yeah This world is so hateful You run into my mind and I really can't take you James Harden at the garden when I'm going off You see the gold around my neck, I'm just showing off You looking at the best, baby, I ain't going to stop Reaching for the, reaching for the, reaching for the mountaintop And the mountains really coming Forever climbing, grinding, what the fuck am I becoming? Shit is so dope, got the 12 right summons Always like the Pope from hell I've been running, yeah I've been running all of my life I've been focused on my craft Making fans every night I ain't focused on your compliments Or peasy advice I'm focused on the message When I sit down to write What's going on guys? I hope y'all are having a great day Today we are giving the 24 valve a love Because we haven't even talked about her Made a video on her Or quite honestly even washed her In like a month And I'm even cringing to say that Because this truck has been my baby For like a year and some change now and I haven't even washed her in about a month and just a little bit of that is to blame on the old 12 valve here taking all my time so I'm gonna kind of blame it on her put the blame on her not on myself but I hope you guys are having a great day we're gonna spoil the 24 valve today clean her up give her a nice wash and wax clean the rims and tires also change the oil in her you guys are always asking what I use to wash wax and change the oil what kind of oil I use we're gonna to get to all that in this video and just spoil the living heck out of her we actually just ordered a engine modification for her last night so the engine mod is coming for the 24 valve gonna switch things up a little bit still got a ton of things to install on the 12 valve I did get some work done on the 12 valve last night I did clean up and finish out the frame if you guys can see Finished out the frame. I cleaned up the fenders a little bit. I, it doesn't even look like it, but there was so much gunk and mud and oil. Just caked. It was like an inch caked on these fenders, and I just scraped it all off. Kind of put it into there. And then it got so late last night that I just came inside. But I did finish out the frame. I didn't record anything last night, only because you guys have seen me use the chassis saver from Magnet Paints in the past. In the past, you know, uh, I think it was like three videos ago or so you guys seen that video. But I did clean up both sides. I wanted to work on the uh, front suspension parts as far as the leveling kit and front shocks goes last night and the lower ball joints, but I didn't want to accidentally hit a little bit of the chassis saver while it was drying and mess it up, so ended up not touching any of the ball. The lower ball joint still needs to be replaced, and also the coils and shocks. Didn't touch that last night. Hopefully, we may get to that tonight. Still got to install our Borgeson steering shaft on this thing. You know, this one's a little wobbly. But we got our Borgeson one right there, and you guys know Borgeson makes a great product. So let's get back to the 24 valve. That's just a little update on the 12 valve, how it's going. Always got tons of things going on in the garage. Did have to pressure wash the driveway a little bit because diesel life, and there's a, a lot of freaking soot and debris because this 24 valve, big injectors, big hot rod VP44 does like to roll coal all over the place in the morning when I start her. So enough of me blabbering on. Let's see what we got today. So you guys know I use Jack's Wax products. Like I say, every time I talk about Jack's Wax, because it seems like they sponsor everybody, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't have to make videos like this, but I do love their products, and I like to show you guys what I use. So I ordered a new Super Blue, which is just their tire shiner, and cleans up the wheel wells really good. The plastics makes them shine really well. Got a 32-ounce bottle of it. Love this product. One of my favorite products by Jack's Wax. And next product we got, which works extremely well, which doesn't smell good at all. It smells like crap, but it works extremely well, so I guess it makes up for it smelling so bad, but it's their wheel cleaner. And I'm gonna show you guys how this works today because I think you guys are gonna be impressed. It literally eats the crap out of brake dust and it turns it into like a purple color, which is kind of cool to see how it transform into brake dust and then turn into purple goo and drip off the wheels. It looks really good. It makes the wheels look amazing. Now, after hitting it with uh, the wheel cleaner, you do have to go back and hit it with like a normal wash. 
it just leaves a really bad residue so I end up hitting it with this a second time after everything dries or I just hit it with a regular wash after it dries just to make sure it looks good before putting all the cleaning supplies away so I have like a thousand of these boxes with foam in them and I always spill foam everywhere but you guys probably already know what this is this is our Canon soap that we've been using for about a year now from Jack Swax that seems to work really well, so I went ahead and ordered it again. It lasts about a year, and you guys know how much I wash my four-wheelers and my trucks. So, went ahead and ordered another gallon of this Canon soap. You only use five ounces at a time in the foam cannon, and it does a really good job. So, that's what I got as far as the soaps and washes go. So, we're going to put you guys on a time lapse. Go ahead and wash the old girl up, make her look better. And then we're going to change the oil, and I'll show you guys what I use for the oil as soon as we get there. Oh, I also forgot. We did get some applicator pads for the tire shiner or applicator pad it's like a little foam thing that you put the tire shiner on you just put the super glue on it and I can't remember if I got anything else uh, I think that was it so I'll see you guys in a minute What I say is truth, time to cut ties, to pave a better route There's a purpose now, for being in the booth Music helps save my life, it can save yours too Running through the jungle like calm my mind Slicing through the forest just to make it out alive My friends ain't believe me, just give me some time A little preparation, I'ma cross that line She cleaned up pretty good, but do me a favor and remind me never to let her get this dirty again. This took me forever to get her clean. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, spoiling the 24 valve is the subject of today. This girl is definitely getting spoiled and we're moving right on to the oil change that I told you guys about earlier. Now you guys know the only fluids I trust in putting into my trucks is AMS oil products. I got 7 gallons of 15 by 40 fully synthetic diesel oil. I got, of course, 12 quarts for the 12 valve, 12 quarts for the 24 valve, and then I got a little bit extra just in case. You always want a little bit extra oil when you order this stuff, just in case, you know, maybe you spill some or maybe, you know, you're leaking a little bit of oil that you don't know about and always have it in the truck just in case on long road trips. If you're running low on oil, you can just go ahead and top her off. So we got, this is all for the 12 valve, so we're gonna set this aside today. We're gonna be using this and setting a little bit aside of this as well today. Uh, but we also got our oil filters from AMS oil. These filters last forever. This oil lasts forever. It lasts about double this lifespan of your normal Rotella or normal oils that you're running in your truck probably right now. If you guys are interested in ordering AMS oil products for your truck, and it doesn't have to be just oil or a diesel, you know, I run their transmission fluid as well, fully synthetic in my trucks, and of course their differential fluid and my 24 valve. If you're interested in getting AMS oil products for your truck, like I said, it can be a gas, it can be a diesel, or ATVs even, oils, lubricants, everything like that. AMS oil has it all. We even got their oil wrench right there, just in case it gives us a little bit of problems on the 12 valve. I know it's not gonna give me a problem on the 24 valve as far as the oil filter goes, but on the 12 valve, I have no idea when the last thing this one, when the last time this one has been changed, or if it was oiled on the O-ring when it was put in, I don't even know that because it was only like two bucks anyway. But if you're interested in getting Amsoil products, it'll be the first link in the description down below. Call my guy Jason. He works for Amsoil. He's high up in Amsoil. He can get you guys the best price possible. I definitely suggest him. He can lower the price a lot on these things and make it a lot more cost efficient for you. And it'd be the same price as your Rotella from AutoZone or. Uh, O'Reilly's or wherever you get your normal oil from or maybe a Walmart I don't know where you guys find the best deals but he can get you amazing deals on Amzo products so make sure you check him out he's been supporting the YouTube channel for like a year now I mentioned him about a year ago and since I've been running their product and I called him the other day he's still willing to help out the YouTube subscribers so he's being awesome about this so if you guys are interested make sure you wait until tomorrow you're seeing the Sunday night 
Make sure you wait until tomorrow, till Monday when his office opens. Give him a call and let him know you're interested in the Amazon products. Let him know you're from the YouTube channel and he will definitely hook you up. He's a great guy to work with. So with all that said, we're gonna go ahead and start changing the oil on the 24 valve. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right guys, we just got back from lunch, took the family to lunch, I let this thing drain out. I left the oil pan under it and it unscrewed for about 45 minutes to an hour. I let it usually sit for at least 30 minutes and just drip till the last drop is out. So that's why we changed clothes because my other ones were getting real dirty because of sitting under the truck and washing it, I got pretty dirty. So we're gonna top this thing up. Uh, it's gonna take 11 quarts and then a quart in the filter itself, of course. So once I get this all filled up, then I'll check back in with you. I think I might've said 12 quarts a second ago. It's actually gonna take 10 quarts in the crankcase and then one in the oil filter. I can't remember what I said. So if I said 12 quarts, just disregard that. I don't know what I was thinking. But uh, 10 quarts in the crankcase, so we'll fill this up 10 quarts, and then we'll put one quart in the oil filter, put a little oil on our O-ring, and then finish out this oil change job. If you guys are new to the channel and were wondering what air setup I ran on the 24 valve, I'll go ahead and discuss it real quick as I'm just getting the cold air intake out of the way, just to get more access to the oil filter. We do have a Borg Warner S362 wrapped in a turbo blanket. T4 steed speed down to an HX40 downpipe to our 5 inch diamond eye performance exhaust straight back from the turbo to a 7 inch tip. So that's the current air setup we're running right now. Uh, fuel is 175 horse injectors from DAP and also our hot rod industrial injection VP44. And there's a lot of things done to this truck. Uh, you got install videos on all of it if you're kind of wondering, you know, how I built it and we're wondering maybe how to install a certain thing. That's just a quick rundown. Like I said, engine mod coming, already shipped, should have shipped yesterday, but we'll see. Should get it late this week. Oil change done. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like down below. It really helps a lot with the YouTube search results and growing the channel. We did spoil the 24 valve a little bit today. Engine mod on the way for it, as well as the headlight build almost done. Talked to my guy last night. It's almost done, so I hope you guys are excited for that. I know I've been talking about the headlight build a lot, so I've been trying to, I'm just so excited about it, and I know it's so close to being done, and it was put off because of Hurricane Harvey, and now it's almost done, so we've been waiting forever for it. Hope you guys are excited as I am for that. Still a lot more to do on the 12 valve, though. That's still gonna be in a lot of videos, and we actually have a Can-Am. I don't have probably any Can-Am subscribers still watching at this point, but we actually have a Can-Am mod. That is for the 1000 XMR Outlander, so be expecting a video on the Outlander soon as well. Thank you guys for making it all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next one.